We begin in the Middle East. Amid a full-blown war in Gaza, Israel says it is now preparing to launch an offensive in the north against Lebanon's Hezbollah. During a visit to the northern border, Israeli Defense Force's chief of staff told his troops to draw up a comprehensive plan against Hezbollah. The visit to the border came a day after Hezbollah carried out multiple rocket attacks into northern Israel. The Iran-backed group has claimed responsibility for four attacks last night, including the firing of an anti-tank missile at an abandoned Israeli home. The Israeli army says there were no casualties in the overnight attacks as it launched retaliatory strikes. Meanwhile, the Israeli Air Force launched a fighter jet which struck two Hezbollah strongholds in southern Lebanon. In more airstrikes, Israel struck at least five Hezbollah positions across different regions in Lebanon. After a night of back and forth attacks, protests erupted in Lebanon against Israel. We want to show the whole world that we have not forgotten the Palestinian cause and that the young generation, which is aware and cultured, is still with the Palestinian cause. We are growing up on it and we will raise our children on it. And we will stay with Palestine until it is free, generation after generation. What is going on in Gaza is really a catastrophe as well as a massacre that Israel is... Uh, uh, making against the Palestinians and they are on also uh, depressing and they are forbidding all workers from their they are, they are depressing all workers and preventing them from all their rights not only that they are not keeping them alive now while most Lebanese are supporting Hezbollah and its actions against Israel some in fact are blaming the Iran bad group for bringing war to Lebanon a prominent opposition leader has criticized Hezbollah for opening another front against Israel in order to back its ally Hamas. Now, so far, the near-daily skirmishes between Israel and Hezbollah have claimed the lives of at least 11 Israeli soldiers and nine civilians. Meanwhile, Hezbollah says that the group has lost close to 300 fighters, while Lebanon says that Israeli forces have killed at least 60 civilians. Hezbollah, in fact, has maintained that it will not stop attacking Israel until there is a ceasefire in Gaza. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issue. But above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.